Right you beauties, I have an MSR Elixir 2. I'm going to pitch it, I used it for the first time last week, but I'm going to pitch it in the garden just for a bit of practice. Um, it was great. Tent pegs, light alloy. Three poles. Get them organised. Let's just do this the route while we're all, while we're all at it. First pole is the wee pole that goes across the top, but I'll show you that just shortly. So as I said, there's three poles. These ones are joined with some sort of mechanism. I'll bring it and let you see it. See that there? So it keeps them all together. So it's a system where it's red pole to red tab, grey pole to grey tab. Simple as that. So let's get that done and we'll put the footprint out as well. So we'll get that out just now. The one I had seen was a way to put this. I'm going to peg this. Let me see how we roll it first. Dee -dee 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 -dee. We're too far up here, so we'll go. That's the footprint done, how to fix this. Right half button. Right. What I've done is I've pegged the four corners of the footprint. On the footprint there's the metal loops to take these pegs, these uh, pegs. <coughs> these poles, sorry. Inside of the tank. See, so on the inner of the tent, the loops the same as these red ones, it's hooked onto the pegs because the tent has got the metal, the metal eyelets for the pins again. I think this is how it works, but we'll have a go because I wasn't really quite sure if I had it set up right the last time. Probably no, no, me. Right, so we go red to red. Just get this right. So the grey pole goes at the grey loop, the red pole goes at the red pin. Red. Make sure you're putting that one, you put it over that, that clip. So red tabs to red tabs. Here, 
over the top. That's the other. So, how long was that? Three, four minutes maybe? I don't know. Scoosh. I'll let you see in it just in two seconds once I put the fly sheet on. So I think I've got this right, but I'm not sure. A couple of days we'll put the fly sheet on and we'll see what it looks like. Now, on the tank, up in one of the corners you've got the MSR Elixir 2 logo as you have on the fly sheet. They've got to marry up, and the reason for that is this part of the tent here, the door, is fixed, that's not opening up. If you put it on back to front, you're going to have a carry on getting around. You've got the tent on, you've got the fly sheet on, you're running the wrong way. <coughs> so, that MSR logo there marries up with that, and get that side. Let's have a wee. Wee on the top and see how on. Inside the tent, and so that's there's your door. Let me see if I've got two MSRs there. How much is that? Right, you've got this pin here. That's gyro. The gyro are rubbish, by the way, really flimsy. I'm going to change them. Never used them, but they're about two millimeters thick. The fuse wire, useless. So inside. You've got a metal tab, pins on there, it's the same as the other side. So that catches that top pole, there's the wife. Hang on the roof, I'll be back in a wee second. Slipped up because it's too far up next to the <laughs> Right, what's the four corners anyway? See, that's got a metal loop on it, and I'm just wondering if that goes under this, this thing here, which I'm sure it does to tighten up. But it's kind of back to front, it's the stupidest looking thing you've ever seen in the day. So, slip that under there, same with this end. And then tighten it up. So peg this part, this first base to be out. Cut that second one. The new. Tighten this here.
Alright. はい、まさ。That's all. Now it's what I gather about. It shouldn't be. For a simple reason. It's only three poles. Two of them are joined together. And one's that size. It's a great tent, by the way. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to see it. Very signed. So we're going to go inside. I'll just take a wee mosey around the tent. Let you see it. I was talking about the yeah. MSR logo there. I think it's there, see. Hang on now. Right, so that there, that logo there. We'll come back to that actually. Let's talk about the tent. Right, so you've got these things here. Right? Look how flimsy that is. That's no use. So I've I've uh, phoned and got myself. Uh, no phone, I've ordered some heavier ones than that. Now the system I was telling you about, about with the loops and stuff, that there, tighten that. So the pin goes, that's on the footprint. Now I don't know if that pole there goes into there. Like that. So that peg there is for the footprint, right? That one there. So on, going around about the tent, we've got these tensioning band thing, A band things. So that there's to, you know, to, to nip it up. There in every corner, or every... See that? Now, the, the bit that kind of gets me is, I wonder if that there should be further out. See this bit here, because that's quite loose there. I don't know how to... I make that tighter here, you can watch this. That tightens that area there, but that's not, but there's a wee bit kind of baggy. I don't know if I've maybe not got that quite right. There's your vents there. See the white, see, see, you can see that there. That's the obviously the poles on the inside. Now, I don't know what I think I've done here. 
I don't think. Let me think. That there's a footprint. That there is attached. That that one there. That one is the inner. And this is obviously the outer. You can see that's doing the bottom there underneath. See that? Because that looks, you would think that that seam there would run with that bar. As you can see there, it's kind of, it's a bit of a kilter. So I don't know why that's, why that is. Let me just check in here. Because it's not like that there. At the other side. Anyway, listen. What we've got here is a cracking tent. Now that there, that's a gully. That'll allow any water that's gathered in there, if you're getting out the tent, so that when you open up the tent... Let's see, where are you going to leave yourself? See? You better grasp what you're doing there. Got a real loop there for tying that back. And then you've got your... Your door. It's actually brilliant quality, if I'm being honest with you. What I was saying about the MSR logo there, right? So there's one there, and there's one diagonally across it the other side. They've got to marry up, because that's how you get your doors to work. So, let's get in the tent. Feathers in it for my sleeping bag at the weekend, there yeah, last week. Let me get it in. Daft feathers. Right. We're in. So what we have is it's quite a big bathtub -y effect. It's not a big bathtub effect, it's a big bathtub. There's plenty of mesh, right? On the top. You've got a nice pocket there. Let me just turn this. You've got a pocket there. You've got mesh on the top here for ventilation. Through there is obviously your outside vent there. You can see the wee tab. Huge pocket there. Big pocket there as well. Um, plenty of space. No, I'm 16 stone 3, 5 feet 10. And it's a. Hang on, let's see if we can borrow this. I don't think I can. No one I'm. No one I'm talking. Uh, and there's got a couple of wee loops up here for tying your 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 inside torch on. I love it. I think it's a great tent. Now I'm going to show you the vestibule area in a wee second. I'm melting putting that. So I don't know if I've got that quite right on the outside with the um, with the corners, but I think I think it's maybe as good as I'm going to get, unless somebody out there can tell me that I'm doing it right or I'm doing it wrong. So a wee bit of help would be appreciated, but it's a big it's a big tent for one person. So you've got plenty of space for your your gear at one part, your air bed at the other. Now I'm just going to show you this vestibule. Let me just put this back around here. Hang on there. I'm using this camera on this. It's actually my phone. It's on a gimbal. Right, so we'll hold it there. Right, so look at that vestibule area there. See that for keeping gear in. And there's maybe about, I don't know, there's maybe five square feet in there. Now that there, that can open up again, and I'm going to do that when I get outside. But there's your doorway out, so it's actually pretty good. Now, let me just get back outside. So this, this here, you take that up. You've got the whole thing opened. Which is absolutely brilliant. I think that's great. Uh, so that's it. As I was saying about these these guy lines, look at them. They're garbage. They are rubbish. So they're getting um, they're getting binned and we'll be getting a uh, I've ordered new ones for Amazon or something. Um but I think I've got it just about right. I'm delighted with the tent, I think it's a cracking tent. It comes in a couple of colours. This is the moss green, so in the in the woods and stuff here. They're almost totally hidden. Let me just go back out here. 
this shit from afar. So that's it there. As I say, I'm delighted with it. Let me just take a wee mosey around the other side again. Let me see from the other side. It's the same, obviously. That's it there. Now that vestibule there that I've shown you, that, this here, there's a mirror image of that on the other side. So there's two vestibules, obviously for two people, but one of them for keeping all your gear in, with another wee, with another wee footprint or a black bag or something, just to keep the, the damp off your, your gear. Right, one each, if you're, share, if you're sharing your tent with somebody, you've got an exit each, and a vestibule each. I think it's brilliant. But anyway, I'm done. I better get it done now and get up the loft for the next patrol with a boy about town. That's going to be terrific, as usual. Listen. Cheerio. See you, pal. Have a nice night. That's the rain. <laughs> She's nearly 19. The rain. Anyway, so I'm going to get away. And I'll uh, hang on now. Right, that's me. I'm going to get away. Catch you.